Oh boy, look at that shiny, flashy piece of Solomon goodness. This is the Solomon Pulsar Trail Pro 2. It's a fun and dynamic ride from Solomon that I'm excited to see take on a flashy update. The energy foam is bouncy yet responsive and provides plenty underfoot protection. And with that added TPU plate, goes the distance. While the narrow platform is classic Solomon, the lacing and the fit are also typical Solomon but don't quite sing as loudly as in other models. The real issue that I've had with this shoe is that the ankle collar is problematic. It eats up my Achilles, doesn't provide a ton of security, and just gives the shoe a rough experience. Normally the shoe sits at a $160 price point, but right now the Pulsar Trail Pro 2 is down to about 120 bucks on sale. Is that a deal? Is it a meal? Is it Ally McBeal? Let's find out. What is up everybody, Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. Today we're gonna to be talking about this shoe from Solomon. It's bright, it's light, it's the Pulsar Trail Pro 2. And we've got a lot to talk about on this one. Uh, before we do, a couple of things. Subscribe to the channel, join the GR crew, link in the description. And finally, this shoe was provided for review by Running Warehouse. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about this shoe. I'm not financially compensated in any way for anything that I say in this review. All opinions are my own. No one has to approve this review. You're the first to see it. Give yourself a pat on the back or the head. And let's dive in. We're gonna talk about the things that I like and dislike about the Pulsar Trail Pro 2, starting as always with the things that I like. Comfy. I do have to say that this midsole, this energy foam, uh, is really fun and dynamic in this particular instance. I think it's bouncy and propulsive. Uh, it really doesn't want to make you move forward. I think this is a kind of fun, fast-going, race-ready shoe. It does have that snap to it, definitely a bit stiffer, especially through a midfoot back. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's fun. I like it. Durability. This is one of the Solomon shoes that holds up well. Plenty of overlays to protect your foot. The stretchy knit across the midfoot and the toe box, like all of it just comes together to make a very durable package, which we come to expect from some Solomon Trail shoes. The midsole isn't breaking down, which is good to see. That TPU plate in there also helps kind of keep things stiff and moving fast and forward for a long time. And you got the Contagrip rubber outsole, which we've just come to know is, you know, good, it's great. And finally, I'm gonna say it, looks. I tend not to like white shoes or even off-white shoes in this case, but man, Solomon's doing something right now where the shoes, they look cool. And uh, this one I think is one of those. I definitely feel a bit like a poser when I put them on because it feels a little too elite ready and I'm clearly not an elite, but uh, maybe that makes me feel like important or something when you put on a white trail shoe or you look ridiculous. Regardless, I like the way it looks. That being said, it's not all getting to game seven of the second round of the playoffs for the Kraken and high five and Grubauer. Holy crap, what an amazing moment. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Pulsar Trail Pro 2. Let's get to those now. The heel collar, this whole business right here. Uh, this is not something I like at all. I actually ended up getting a blister multiple times in the shoe. There was no amount of breaking the shoe in that did not bug my Achilles. Whatever is going on here, it, I'm not feeling anything with my finger, but holy crap, the right shoe and actually the left shoe after a time just caused major issues along my Achilles. And I, there was a point where I was like, I can't run in these shoes past a certain mileage. I just couldn't without getting blisters and just causing all sorts of ruckus back there. So unfortunately this heel collar just doesn't do what I think it's designed to do. Big problem for me. And fit, because everything is one piece, because the tongue doesn't really exist, it's all just one thing stitched together and it's this sort of uh, woven mesh across the top of the foot, it's just not gonna get you a very proper fit. You're gonna have to tighten up those laces pretty good, you're gonna get immediate fold over of the materials, and as long as you don't get hot spots across the top, you're fine. I tended to get hot spots right here along the top of the forefoot across the vamp. And then yeah, the whole heel collar thing caused a bunch of issues as well. So I think the overall fit of the shoe is a problem. I think the design and the elements here in the upper are a problem. And those are two very big problems that I do think other people will experience, unfortunately. But that is it for my dislikes. So let's get a bit more specific in the breakdown where I talk about five different criteria, the build quality, comfort, fit, price, and look starting with build quality, built like a tank. I don't necessarily think the materials that they're using are working together in a cohesive recipe, but uh, it's just gonna last you a long time. I don't see this breaking down anytime soon, but I see myself breaking down from the pain. 
at a point. Comfort. Uh, yes, it has some softness underfoot, but I will say it's a more responsive shoe. So it's definitely gonna be that snappy sort of propulsive shoe. I think a lot of people want that out of the Pulsar Trail Pro series. Uh, it's definitely gonna be kind of a race day shoe. You can get some long training miles in it, but uh, you know, look at this thing. It's not necessarily designed to be a great long distance trainer as much as it is a fast race day ready shoe. Fit, this is where the shoe has the problem. I don't necessarily like the lockdown here and I don't like the heel collar and the way that it fits around your ankle and the problems that that causes. So fit, narrow, not really accommodating, fold over fabric, bit of a problem for me. Price right now, it's $120 on sale. So that swings this pendulum back and forth. If this was a uh, retail at $160, I'd say, phew, no way. But 120 bucks, it's like pretty good deal. But at the same point, I'm like, why is it so low? Now, maybe I know why it's so low. I don't know. It's still a really good price for a Solomon of this caliber. And finally, looks. I like the looks of this shoe. I don't mind the brightness. I, I'm definitely getting it dirty and it looks dirty, but it, I don't know. It's different. I appreciate being different. I do. Bringing us to my conclusion. So I'm torn. I'm torn because the Pulsar Trail Pro 2 is a dynamic shoe that works in training and race environments. I've had fun runs in this shoe and felt like really quick and felt fast and felt important. But with the heel collar and just like really small stupid problems that made the running experience less than stellar at a certain point in the shoe, maybe it is just me. Maybe it is just my Achilles does something weird. Maybe the shoe works for some people. It's just hard to say. At $160, I'd say pass. But on sale at $120, I don't know, maybe this could be the shoe that lights up your trail life. That brings me to my ultimate criteria. Is the Pulsar Trail Pro 2 from Solomon a buy, try, or a why? I'm gonna say try at $120 on sale price point, links in the description. Uh, that is worth the try. $160 full price, that's a why. It's affordable as far as trail shoes go and one that will last you a while. Just don't bleed, don't get those blisters and you're fine. That's it, tables now turn. What do you think of the Pulsar Trail Pro 2? Is this something that you're interested in? Do you like white shoes for trails? Is it too white? I don't know, you let me know. Uh, but I'm super curious what you think of these shoes or maybe potential of putting them on your feet. Let me know in the links in the description. If you want more information or get a pair for yourself, appreciate you using those for all your running gear. It helps the channel out, cost you nothing. We appreciate that very much. Uh, subscribe, join the GR crew. Love to have you be a member of the GR crew and uh, get out there, train hard, race harder. Party of the hardest. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Danger.